Yeah, I've uh, read through it and I've uh, done uh, a uh, the dog. Okay, how'd that go? Yeah. It was pretty good. I'm not convinced why I'd want a purple dog. But. <laughs> <laughs> the and, idea uh, is that the idea for the dog is that um, one of the hardest things to mask is hair. Yeah. And so we wanted to give you a a, a really quick way to um, learn how to uh -huh. mask the dog. Now, how would this compare with, uh, like, in CS5, they have a refined edge and all that sort of thing? Yeah. Um, the problem with some of that stuff, let's go in here, and we'll try and create a mask really quick. Uh, let me make a copy of the layer. Um, I can do this with the color range, but look at the size of the window I get to work with. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then I have to make sure I have the add selected. And as you see, as we go here, I can make the dog real white, but look at all of the other artifact I'm picking up here. Yeah. And at this point, I would have to say, okay, I'm going to say okay, and then I have to go in here. Come on. Alt-click. There's my mask. And now I've got to start, you know, painting on this mask. Clean it up, yeah. Yeah, and I would have to get in here and draw all this stuff in and then you get down to the hair and what do you do because you're gonna have a fringe there okay now I'm not saying that um, we're better at it but let's see how fast we can do this without um, all of that nonsense and and believe me we want the masking tools to be even better so one of the things I'm going to look for is some way to make the dog stand out. And I'm going to choose the B channel really quick to see if I can get him. Let me, let me make, or A channel, I'm sorry. Let me make the mask stand out here. Now, here's a little trick. I've got both ends of the curve here and down here highlighted. And I'll let, the, let this catch up to you because i got to remember that we're now back on the Mikogo time. But once I have both ends of the curve selected, I can use the arrow keys and I can move the curve along here. You see what I'm doing? Watch yeah. the red bracket lines. I'm moving the whole curve to um, try and get rid of a lot of this noise in the middle. But if you look... <laughs> Is that slick? Yeah. It's a very powerful thing when we start getting into this level of it, guys. You know, I can't wait to show you in the last week the advanced, the super advanced stuff, because there's some curves out here, Jerry, that will just blow your mind. And um, it's stuff that we're working on for the, the Curvemeister 201 class, because we're, we're doing, I'm planning and working, and I've been working for two and a half years on writing the second class, because the problem is, is as we put together the curriculum, we continue to discover new things that we go, wow, we gotta show this to people. <laughs> well I mean that 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 I mean that's like the first time since nineteen ninety six that the channels have been uh, this is the first serious challenge to channels. So let's well, that, take well, that, this let's take this mask though, since I've gotten it this far this quickly. I'm gonna copy it out as a channel copy and cancel out a curve meister. I'll click over here and paste it in. Okay, now I'm going to take my black brush. Uh, come on, there we go. And I'm just going to go over this quickly. Oops, I nicked the dog, but you know, we're working fast here just to make a point. He didn't need that leg anyway. He didn't need that leg anyway. You got okay. it. Can't, can't you use the paint bucket to fill that in? Uh, maybe. You know, I've never tried. Let's let's see. Well, uh, no, I'm not asking you. I'm not asking you to, to do. I, I'm just asking questions. I'm not asking you to no, do. No, that's it. a great question because the paint bucket is a great way to fill this in if it'll work. Oh, this is actually pretty quick. I like it. There you go. See, you just taught me something. Yeah. I've right. been, I've been painting on these masks for 
four years and here I could have just used the paint bucket and got most of it done in two clicks. Now that is a time saver. Okay, so there's our little mask real quick. Now, if I want to go back into curves, I can make Fido any color I want. I can make him blue. Something's hung. Uh oh. Now you're okay. Now you got the uh, RGB page. Aquamarine. <laughs> Man, that is so slick. I am tempted to use an explicative, but I will not. <laughs> it's okay, because this is when, you know, we started the conversation with with uh, what it is that motivates me. It's when I can get somebody to understand and, and really start to see their creative process change, that's when we've really made some progress.